So, yo guys, welcome back to another video. I'm trying to upload more consistently on the channel. And I recently, I wasn't a big believer in this TikTok app thing, but I downloaded it a few months ago. And a one fueling up video sort of got 12k views on it. Which was just that a normal Asda fuel up thing. And I got a lot of people commenting saying try Shell V power in the moped, which I think is a bit ridiculous. But I've already got about half a tank anyway. So I don't think it would do any, it would just mix anyway with the normal fuel. But for the purpose of video making sake, I'm just going to go and fuel up at some V power, I think. <laughs> And, yeah, I only need to fill it up half a tank and then I might fuel it up again the next time so that it's got a full tank of uh, V power in it. But I'm just going to go and see if there is any difference. I don't think there will be much difference. I had one guy saying, oh yeah, it'll be like 5 mile an hour more, but I highly doubt it on this. I had, I had a problem with the starter button on this, to be fair. Every now and again it makes a weird noise when you get to start it. It was fine that time. But, yeah, it's been reliable enough, this bike, for me. I've done quite a few miles on it, to be fair. It's on 3,917 kilometres, which I've done on it in about six and a half months, I believe, I think. But yeah, we're going to go and head off to the Shell Station, which is actually miles away from the house, so we probably should head off now. And I need to go to the shop as well in a bit, so we'll just do that all in today. Yeah, I hope this mic set up isn't too bad. Because, uh, it's not the greatest setup, I believe. Well, you can see it here, it's my headphones, and then they're like sort of wedged there, so like the mic's in the helmet bit. I almost did get ran over here once came round here on the left like that and a guy was literally on my side of the road absolute madman um, yeah that was probably one of the scariest moments on a bike I've probably ever had to be fair he did have to full on swerve it uh, but luckily he was actually paying attention or I'd have had to have gone in the bush it is a bit damp on these back lanes. Don't want to go too quick on them. As I have <laughs> had a lot of experience with uh, uh, damp roads, you tend to fall off. My experience. So this guy is probably fly tipping, most likely, with the number plate, just in case. Check that on the way back. See if there's any stuff there. And we can obviously sort him out, you know what I mean? So I think I'm going to go left up here. But yeah, obviously I'm at college at the moment. Well, I say I'm at college at the moment, I wasn't actually there last week because I had some really bad cold, turned out it was not Corona, so that was an upside I suppose. But, yeah, I had some terrible, terrible cold. Yeah, feeling a bit better now, still got a bit of a cold. I had a headache the other day, but... I've been going out on the bike just to clear my head because it's horrible when you have to stay indoors. Absolutely horrible. We're going to get cars right off the backside on this road because it is, uh, I believe, yeah, it's a 40 year. But I believe it goes up to a 50 in a minute. Yeah. So they'll probably overtake. We've got these warm Alpine Stars winter gloves on. They seem, they, well, they help. They help a bit. I've obviously not rode through winter, winter 
like proper December time yet and if I end up getting that uh, apprenticeship which is in the lineup at the minute I am going to have to be riding all the way to I believe it yeah it's Loughborough way on this 50 every single day I think it's going to take it's going to be like an hour commute in the morning and then an hour back at night so it's not going to be it's not going to be the greatest obviously that's going to be for about four or five months and then I'll be either looking well I'll be looking at getting my car driving test done uh, so there'll be videos on the car and stuff coming out and then I'll also be looking at getting a 125 towards the start of next year as well but it just depends on which I get first really still not made my mind up so I love I'd love making car content but I also love making motorbike content obviously motorbike content for you guys would be a lot better than it is at the minute because obviously we're going down this road at about 36 mile an hour I mean it'd be a lot more interesting for you if uh, I had a quicker bike really uh, it's a long old road why aren't they at, you know when they can just clearly overtake and they just choose to sit behind you so I find it annoying I find it really annoying it feels like you just want to pull over and let them go which I actually used to do but now well, I just don't do it really um, police that was not had any interactions with police yet I probably just jinxed myself but I've got my uh, I was mud I've got a red DRL in the front of this which obviously is not what you should have in it but yeah you know, on the story of that I got this I got this red DRL off eBay it was like it was like I think it was like two quid or something put that in and it was it was absolutely fine but it was a bit bright at night I thought so I changed it back to the white one well, it was a bit yellowy it wasn't really white and then I brought a green one which was even better it was more it had like loads of different LED bits on it it was like a five piece LED or something so it was really bright I put that in it which was like four quid or something put that in it and then it just kept flashing so I think that was faulty that one so I just ended up putting the red one back in and that seems to be working pretty fine at the moment uh, I've got a bit of rain on my visor so hopefully it doesn't rain but you never know with the weather recently yesterday it chucked it down literally all day and today it's a bit dry but the roads are damp and there's flooding everywhere so cyclists what what is your guys opinion on cyclists man what is your guys opinion because I, I personally just get in the way on a 50 especially like you just want to overtake them and you can't do it That wasn't too bad to be fair, but especially some of these road cyclists. On my CBT, I had this guy, this guy doing his CBT with me. He was a lot older, he's like 32 or something. And we're on them Honda Ruckus things. They're quite good 50s to be honest. Old, but they're quite reliable. And I obviously found riding the 50 easy because I've been on bikes before and that and this guy he, he never he, he, he was he was shocking to be honest with you but he like 
he went past these cyclists and these cyclists literally knew that he was a 50 so they they basically tried to race him and it, the instructor had to pull up with a lot on that day because he got lost and we had to go and find him it, it was a big mess really easiest CBT I've ever done well it's the only one but I can say if any of you are going to go and do your CBT it is absolutely nothing to even like worry about because like you'll pass with no problems at all well it's not even really a pass it's just a, it's just a training day really so as long as you don't smash up the bike I think they should pass you I know someone who did smash up the bike and I think they didn't pass so yeah, as long as you don't do that you should be fine I've never actually been to this shell garage a bit of flood in there isn't it? Jeez. but I think it's right here but I'm not sure to be fair believe it is up here oh this is a big hill Ugh. some train tracks yeah I think I'm going the right way it's a bit damp on these roads isn't it oh. that was different Ugh. So you can tell you go into a flipping shell garage area when you see flipping BMW performance cars and Audi RS3s coming from it. <laughs> the guy behind the till will probably be laughing when he sees a 50cc coming in for some shell V power. I'm interested to see how much the price is going to be to be uh, Where are we going to go? Where are we going to go? Where are we going to go? Let me go for it.